Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable experimental features in Microsoft Edge, as well as resetting your settings back to default if you accidentally make any mistakes. In terms of experimental features, they're not particularly new to Microsoft Edge. There's just different features that are typically experimental that may not work exactly 100% or ready for public release. However, if you want to play around with them or just use them to modify your web browsing experience, I'm going to show you guys how to turn them on and off. Now, generally, even though they're not ready for like productive machines, they're usually not detrimental to your browser. It just means that it's probably not a setting that Microsoft is ready to release to the general public yet, or maybe a depreciated feature that they're just gonna be slowly phasing out, and that's why it's temporarily disabled and before they completely remove it from the browser altogether. So just wanna point that out there, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna start off by just opening up the Edge browser, and in the URL address bar, you wanna search for Edge, and then a colon, forward slash, forward slash, flags. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, edge, colon, forward slash, forward slash, flags, F-L-A-G-S. Hit enter on the keyboard. So at this point, go ahead and locate or search the flag field for whatever flag you want to modify here. Uh, you can typically ignore the unavailable selection because it's not available for your platform. But underneath available here, you can go ahead and locate whatever item or flag you want to modify. And you can select a little drop down arrow next to the default value. And you can set it to either enabled, disabled, or default. So default is just basically either enabled or disabled. They're just not really always specifying it. So it's usually already one or the other. So in this case, you just could select enabled, for example. And if you have to restart Edge for the change to take effect, go ahead and select that and then restart the browser. And now, if you ever come back into the flag field, you'll notice it should be right up at the top, I believe. Whenever you make a change in here, whether it's enabled or disabled, that deviates from the default value, it should indicate a little blue circle next to it, and it should have a blue highlighted rectangle in here as well. And if you ever want to reset all your flags back to default, you just can select the Reset All button up at the top. And again, you will need to restart Edge for the changes to take effect. And that's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.